A booming black Oklahoma community disappeared decades ago, but people who lived there and their families remember the impact the elbow made in Guthrie. Fox 25's Jameson Keefover finds out how the city plans to help more Oklahomans understand the history of the area. The land known as the elbow in Guthrie, Oklahoma, now looks like a deserted island full of trees encompassed by Cottonwood Creek. But it was once a thriving all black community. My ancestors uh, were pioneers of that area. It was settled um, after the land run of 1889. My mother was born there in 1932. She told us a lot of stories about the elbow, um, that it was an all black town. Um, it was uh, self-sufficient. They had schools, hospitals. For nearly a century, the area was home to several black Oklahoma families, but nature forced those families to leave. Countless floods uh, just made that entire low-lying area in Guthrie uh, extremely difficult to live in over the course of a century. The area is still labeled a flood hazard zone by the federal government because of the unpredictable creek. A lot of the community's history swept away. Our oral history is just as important as documentation because that's how we were able to pass down from generation to generation um, what our history is. And so that's very important to African Americans. Access to this area has been cut off by the creek for years with no trails or bridges to get over to the island known as the elbow. But now the city of Guthrie is hoping to build those bridges and trails to open the land and its rich history to a new generation. Their entire family stories are from that neighborhood that hasn't had access in a long time. Much of the land of the elbow is still privately owned, but what's owned by the city, including an old park, will be cleaned up. There's no timeline on when the revitalization will happen, but at least one elbow descendant has concerns. As the taxpayer of land there, I, I feel I have a right to that. And as well as people that were living there, you know, they have a right to know what happened to their ancestral home because that's what it is. It's our ancestral home. And, um, you know, I take this very seriously. And we have a right to know these things. The city tells Fox 25 the decisions will be left to the community. Anybody who has like, apprehensions about the this process like it's totally understandable because there's not a track record of this being done well in Guthrie Jameson Keefover for Fox 25 News. There are hundreds of descendants from people who grew up in the elbow. We'll hear some of their concerns and hopes for revitalization of the area next Friday at nine.